Killer Fnatic and Gen.G leave Group C. Gen.G beats Fnatic to claim the top seed in Group C. It was an emphatic victory. Uh, they went one and one in the series in groups, but Gen.G really making a statement there against Fnatic. Uh, what did you take away from both teams today, Tyler? Oh, man. So Fnatic, up till the actual Gen.G game, I was vastly impressed by. They played such a quick and decisive style. At one point, it was kind of hilarious comparing them to TSM, where... TSM was so reactionary to everything that was going on. If, if Fnatic against TSM and LGD were putting on the pace, they were diving, you know, two hours deep. They were ever so confident in their mechanics and their coordination, and it was beautiful to watch. Obviously, in the Gen G game, uh, they kind of went into the old "let's try to scale, have the malfight, let's make some losing lanes." Uh, kind of everything went wrong after Gen G invested into a top dive which also led into a just a straight-up 2v2 kill for Ruler and Life in the bomb lane, which just kind of tilted that one game into a 3-4k goal lead that does Genji snowball because no, uh, Genji's a good team and they know what to do with leads like that. So overall, both teams, I think, should be very happy uh, getting out of this group. This was a tough group. Uh, Genji, obviously the number one seed, which means they will most likely skip uh, Damwon, obviously, and more than likely top esports. Uh, looking at the field, I, I think they want to avoid G2 if possible. I think G2 could give Gen G some problems, but overall, a uh, good day for Gen G and for Fnatic. Just even though they came in second, I'm so impressed by them. And I think they have a lot more to show, too. I think in this meta, this meta that is so focused on uh, having a hard carry jungler, uh, having a playmaking. Ballsy support. You want a support that will roam, that is not that is not afraid to latch away from its AD carry, make plays. Even if you fail at times, you want to have a ballsy support. And Hillsong is the definition of a ballsy support. Pairing those two together, Selmy and Hillsong running over, running around the jungle. You have a stalwart top laner in Blippo who has performed really well. Uh, Nemesis, it's not a super hard carry mid lane meta. You could have some picks there, but put him on Lulu, put him on, you know, very his comfort picks. And then you obviously have Reckless, who is fine and dandy playing by himself in the bottom lane while his song goes, you know, hand in hand with uh, self made to go around the map. So Fnatic, I think, is built for this tournament. I think this is a meta that really fits Fnatic. So Going into the best of five stages, I'm actually quite optimistic about Fnatic's chances. I think, given a good draw, I think if they get Sooning, I would favor Fnatic over Sooning. I really do like this Fnatic team. So if Fnatic can get a good draw, I actually do think they could go quite far in this tournament. I would not be shocked if they make another Dark Horse run to a final. So both of these teams were very impressive. But even in a loss, even in a day where they did not finish top of the group, I really liked what I saw for Fnatic for most of the day. And even in their loss against Genji, that was much more about them just kind of picking a scaling cup and not working out. I think when it comes to the early game and how well they've team fought and kind of controlled that early game, and Selfmate in particular, in a meta where it is all about the jungler, I think Selfmate's one of the best players at world. So kudos to Fnatic, kudos to Gen.G. Both well-deserved placements in the top eight, and I'm very excited to see them in the best of fives. So if all stays the same right now, Group mm. D, Top Esports is at 3-0. and Many people mm. projecting them to go perfect, 6-0. and And if that does happen, then they would be the number one seed in Group D. That, mm. of course, is going to happen tomorrow. And right now, DRX is in second. So we're not going to get into any prognostications about Group D just yet. But what I do want to talk about are the seedings. So you can see that Sooning, Damwon, and Gen G are the number one seeds coming out of their groups. Meanwhile, G2, JD, and Fnatic are the number two seeds coming out of their group, which means that Fnatic could face one of the other top... Uh, one seeds, including top esports, if that remains the same. As you can see there, the draw will happen after the matches conclude tomorrow. So we will have that to speak about on tomorrow's program. And by the way, 78% or 76% of you predicted Gen G to win Group C outright. Congratulations to you on our ESPN Esports League of Legends predictor. You can go to ESPN.com slash League of Legends predictor. Or if you have the ESPN Fantasy app, you simply click on the trophy. Tyler's doing great. I'm I'm doing a little bit better. Where are you right now? Are you still in the hundreds? Let me check, Garda. I'm going to go on the ESPN.com right now. Let me open up my predictor page. I'm 946th. 
So oh, I, good I job, practiced Bob, on man. 1,000. <laughs> After being in, you know what, the, what you were like, what, 30,000, 40,000 for a bit, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Now you're I, finally I got, back Gen up. Jeep winning Group C, I did it. I got it. Let's go. I am currently at 73. I am ranked 73. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Well, you have a way to go. Uh, but this is good. You've been in the top 100 for a while now. So if you want to battle Tyler, get in on the playoffs. Uh, that's when you can make your next set of picks. Again, ESPN.com slash League of Legends predictor.